In this video, we'll go step by step on using Leonardo AI's image guidance feature, Character Reference. Step by step, we're going to select a model and configure settings, add a prompt and negative prompt, enable character reference, and test and apply what we've learned by varying image generation results. Let's start by selecting a model. Please note that not all new image guidance tools are available for all base models. So for example, character reference is available for SDXL or Stable Diffusion XL models. Those models that cannot be used will be conveniently grayed out or if you have selected the model, you'll not be able to turn on character reference for incompatible models. Before proceeding with image creation, let's go through a few tips when it comes to character reference. Character reference may not work well on non-humanoid subjects like pets. Character reference works best with generated subjects in comparison to subjects from external sources. Describing the appearance of the subject in the prompt helps to create optimal results. For subjects from external sources, it is crucial to be as descriptive as possible. Character reference works well with lightning models, notably with Anime XL. Only a single image can be used for character reference at one time. Let's go to app.leonardo.ai and click image creation. First, we select a model. In this case, it's Albedo XL. Then we set dynamic and we add an element. So for this example, we're going to use tunes. Tunes and anime and confirm. For the weight, we're going to use 0.9 to start. And for image guidance, of course, we're going to enable uh, character reference. And in this case, we selected an image that we previously generated. And confirm. Also, we enable negative prompt. We add our negative prompt and of course our prompt. If you're not yet familiar with prompts, negative prompts, and using a prompt structure when creating images with Leonardo AI, check out the link above for the fundamentals before proceeding with this video. Note that Albedo Base Excel has been tuned for 1024 by 768 image resolution, and as a such, it would be advisable to have similar or the same resolution when it comes to input dimensions and aspect ratio. So in this case, we also set input dimensions to 1024 to 768. Now that we have went through the different uh, configurations and settings, we set up our prompt a negative prompt and uh, all other configurations are in place let's go through a few examples so in this case we are generating an image showing urduha which is a babaylan warrior priestess 25 years of age with black hair wearing traditional and conservative all red clothing and sandals so we are going to vary a few things we're going to vary the character standing and sitting and also, we're going to vary the background, which is firstly, it's going to be a mountainside. And secondly, it would be a river. Let's go through the examples. When we look at the generate images, they have consistent facial features. And let's take a look at one of the examples. In this case, you clearly see the priestess. Uh, with a background of a mountainside and we also have the option to upscale so in this case we're using alchemy smooth upscale which is suitable for anime like generated images in this example we vary the prompt for the priest is sitting down or the character is sitting down as you see in this example Reese is sitting down with a background of a mountainside.
in this example, we changed the prompt to say that the place is a nearby river. So if we select an example, we clearly see the emphasis of the character nearby a river. And lastly, in this example, we vary again the posture of the character. In this case, a priestess is sitting down beside or nearby a river. And so far with all our examples, the consistent character when it comes to the facial feature of the character, it has so far been superb when using the character reference feature. As a quick recap of what we've learned, we've learned how to select a model and configure basic settings, add a prompt and a negative prompt, enable character reference and image guidance, and test and apply what we've learned by varying the character's pose position or varying the overall scenery or background. If you find value in videos like this when it comes to technology, AI, and productivity, make sure to like and subscribe for us to make more. Check out this videos if you want to learn more about prompt engineering basics and consistent characters.